Welcome back. If you're struggling to lose weight, it can feel like a long, long road. I know I've been there, but sometimes it's about more than what you think. Sometimes there's something preventing you from losing those pounds. And here to discover what the problem could be is Dr. Kathleen Nash, chiropractic physician and the odor owner of Total Transformation. Welcome, Dr. Nash. Thank you, JJ. Always a pleasure to be here. Great to have you. Thank you. Uh, you work with people one-on-one -on -one and you help them solve the mystery to their weight loss. Uh, how do you do that? Yeah, so the people that I work with generally are ha sort of struggling with stubborn weight loss issues. So that means that no matter what they're trying, either the weight loss is slow, the weight loss stops, or the weight loss comes back. And it's frustrating if you don't know what else to do except for eat less and move more. And what we find in my office is that's typically not the actual problem. So my job is to help them find the solution that's preventing them from getting to their goal weight and stay there. Yes, yeah. uh, I, I mentioned that I struggled with my weight uh, once in life. Uh, you also struggled with your weight at one time. I uh, did. But you were able to kind of navigate that path you needed to navigate and find the answers. Yeah, it was frustrating. You know, I had started gaining weight when I was eight years old, and this is back Aww. when our children weren't really heavy, you know, so it was rare. Mm -hmm. And it seemed that every diet I went on, I'd lose some, but I'd never get to my goal, and then it always came back, and it went back higher. So I technically ate less and moved more into a 237 pound body. Ugh. Yeah, and it was in 2009 that I started investigating. There's got to be something underlying that's causing the issue. And for me, there was. There was about four different things. And once I figured out what it was and the techniques and the strategies to fix it, yeah. I was able to lose the 80 pounds. I've kept that off now for over nine years, which I was never able to do before. And I do it eating between 2,000 and 3,000 calories a day. And now my clients do the exact same thing. They outshine me every day. Speaking of your clients, we want to hear from your client, Sarah, who's had some great success. Sarah had amazing success. So Sarah was somebody like me, you know, she was a mom, she had kids, she was busy. Um, every time she would try to lose weight, she'd do it for a little while, but it would be so slow and so frustrating that she oh. would just quit. Um, when she started my program, she ended up losing 68 pounds. She lost 35 inches just in her oh, midsection wow. alone. So we were able to target that fat loss to where she wanted it the most. Yeah. And then she was eating up to 3,000 calories a day and keeping the weight off. Oh, I tell you that struggle of dieting is so awful. I hate being caught in that. Let's hear from her. Absolutely. Can we? Yes. In just three short months of losing weight, I've lost 52 pounds and 35 inches off my waist, which is where I wanted it most. All right, way to go, lady. I know a lot of people have that issue right around the middle. Right, yeah. and right around the middle usually means there's something else besides eating too much and moving too little that's driving it. And if you don't know what that is, how are you supposed to fix it? Exactly, so yeah. let's talk about what that might be. There's a few possibilities Right. Uh, that might be the underlying issue uh, behind why people can't lose weight. Right. Absolutely. So great. You know, people are always like, well, that's great, Dr. Nash, you're telling us that there's some stuff underneath that could be going on, but we don't know what in the world that is. Right. So the one that we're going to talk about today is toxicity. Mm. So there's one specific toxin called candida. Mm -hmm. Candida is a fungus or a yeast, and it's in normal amounts in the body normally, but when it overgrows, it can actually cause a weight gain of 32 pounds a year. Oh. It drives hunger. It drives cravings. These are actually little bugs that are living in your gut, and they secrete chemicals that trip your nervous system into making you hungry and crave the foods that they want to eat. So here's somebody who's deciding that it's my fault, I don't have the willpower, I can't say no to these foods, when it's really billions of colonies of these little bugs that are making them eat it. Oh my if goodness. you don't know that's going on, how are you supposed to fight them and get rid of them? Exactly, and speaking of if you don't know if it's going on, there's actually a really simple test that you suggest people can do it at home yeah, and absolutely. find out whether they might be affected by candida or not. Right, so sometimes the symptoms of candida sounds like the symptoms for a lot of other things, but if you wanted sure. to find out for sure if you had it, yeah. first thing in the morning you take a clear glass of water and before you put anything in your mouth, don't brush your teeth, don't drink coffee or water, anything, deposit some saliva into that glass. If you see that cloudy white material falling down into the water, oh that's boy. the actual yeast that's coming out of your saliva and going into the water, it means it's overgrown. It's traveled all the way from your gut into your mouth. And they're stubborn little bugs. They're hard to get rid of. It takes specific protocols to do it. My staff and myself were mm -hmm. experts at getting that candida overgrowth to go away while also getting your body to shed some of the 
excess pounds that the bugs have been causing. About how long does it take for someone to get rid of that condition? If they're super aggressive, they can usually get it done in about 90 to 120 days. Wow. Yeah. You have a special offer today for people who might want to come in and see you and get some help. I do, but I only have a few spots left. So. Um, what I can do is if you come in and talk to me, normally it's $97 for me to diagnose you and see if you have these issues. But if yes. they mention that they saw me with JJ on the morning blend, then I can discount it down to $997, but I'm gonna give you ooh, so much ooh. more. I'm gonna give you the evaluation. I'm gonna give you the free book about how doctors don't want you to lose weight permanently and what you can actually do on your own. Plus the two webinars that are going to explain in detail what my program actually is mm -hmm. and what are some other factors that are probably driving that stubborn weight gain and your inability to lose it and all of that is for less than ten dollars but only if you're one of the first 15 people to call because I really just don't have a lot of appointments left at that yep. lower rate it's just too popular. Dr. Nash thank you so much it's a great opportunity for people who've been dieting and they're stuck in this cycle and they need to look maybe a little further so Absolutely. thank you so much. Thank you. Dr. Nash's Total Transformation is located on Horizon Ridge Parkway near Valley Verde in Henderson. Again, mention you saw her with me on The Morning Blend and your standard client fee is only $9.97. Normally it's $97. There's only a few appointments, guys, so call the number on your screen or visit the website listed for more information. Total Transformation, proud sponsor of The Morning Blend, and we are coming right back.